Hello. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear war. You're back. I don't know him very well myself. I seem to remember that he was the man... Yeah, so far this has gone exactly as expected. Poorly. But with the work you've done for NCR already, you might be just what I've been looking for. We captured an honest-to-god centurion of Caesar's legion recently. Better believe it. Everybody. Everybody in Caesar's legion from Caesar on down will kill themselves before they can be captured. They're so twitchy they'd probably do it if you reached out to hug them. But here's this guy, who's an elite commander in their army, and he just gives himself up, even as his men are slitting their own throats around him. Well, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like a man who's willing to cooperate. Except he hasn't. Only times he speaks up are to insult you. He's a real prick, by the way. And I'm supposed to get information out of this guy. I like the way you think. Have I said that yet? Problem is that the NCR frowns on using that sort of tactic. There are some restrictions still in place from President Tandy's administration. But here's my favorite thing about you. You're not in the NCR. Plus, for all this guy knows, you're completely insane. That's a winning combination. I think if you rough him up enough and really put some fear into him, he'll sing like a choir boy. So let's do this. When you're ready, I'll go in and give you a little intro. Then I leave the room, and you make him regret the day he was born. We go back and forth a couple times until either he talks or he can't move his jaw anymore. Either way, we've had our entertainment for the day. That's the spirit. Okay, I'll go in and have a word with him. Then I'll call you in. Long time no see, Silus. Lieutenant, I was just thinking about you. That's so. I was. I was just thinking about that pretty neck of yours. How sweet. I was thinking about how it would look with a Legion slave collar on it. Oh, pass. Do you know what I love about our slave collars, Lieutenant? If you love them, maybe you should try one on. I love how tightly they fit. I train my men to make sure the slave's flesh bulges a bit around the top and bottom. You know why? It's all the rage in fashion circles? Not quite. If you fit it just right, their body never gets used to the feeling of wearing it. It cuts in just enough when they swallow or turn their head to remind them who they belong to. And it's that constant reminder that keeps them docile. In that case, maybe you'd better save the collar you were gonna give me. Oh? For whom? For a friend of mine you're about to meet. My friend isn't very docile. And who is this friend of yours? You know all the rules the NCR instituted to protect enemy prisoners of war? Of course. My friend doesn't. Oh, and Silus, if you resist at all, I'll personally blow your brains out. Come on in, he's all yours. I'll be back in a bit to see how you're getting along. And I'll need you to surrender your weapons before you go in. You can pick them up from the locker on your way out. What an ugly little worm you are. What pile of excrement did the lieutenant pluck you from, worm? You must have some reason to be in your line of work. Tell me, what did the Legion do to you? Did we enslave your children? Slaughter your family before your eyes to teach you a lesson? Whatever it was, I hope I was there to give the order. 
foot soldiers of the Legion are trained not to have to think for themselves, to have conflict removed from their minds. They kill themselves to evade capture because they are not trusted to make such a decision rationally in the heat of battle. But I'm no foot soldier. I knew I could escape captivity on my own without revealing the tiniest iota of information to my captors. I'll show you gutless, you sniveling bastard. I'll spill your guts all over this room. Is something the matter, Silas? You look upset. Here, maybe you'd better step out for a moment. You've upset him. Get away from me. You're a horrible fucking degenerate. I don't know. I thought he seemed like a nice guy. If we were on the other side of the river, I'd have him torn apart by dogs. That's a long walk, Seuss. I don't think it's gonna happen. You'd better just talk. Your tactics are a joke. If you don't like dealing with me, I can bring my friend back in. Both of you can rot. Have it your way. Come on back in. I think he misses you. We don't have anything to discuss, worm. Coward. I've faced odds that would make your NCR soldiers wet themselves. I've led charges against men with guns, carrying only my knife. And I can tell you, it was they who feared me. But suicide is a weak death on a battlefield. It says to your enemy that you fear capture. It says if you're caught, you can be broken. You think I'm going to slit my throat for some megalomaniacal self-appointed dictator? I didn't work my way up to have it all be taken from me out of some irrational paranoia. Kaisar's losing it. I believe that. He's been shutting himself in his tent. Privately, he complains of headaches. Whatever it is, it's affecting his ability to lead. Time was essential for my mission, but we waited three days for him to dispatch us. Another of his headaches. Does that sound like a man in command? He has an operative planted in this very base, but does he use his agent to rescue me? No. He's content to have the agent spend his nights radioing troop positions back to our base camp. He knows I'm here, and he's left me to rot. I don't know. I know he sends intelligence by radio in the middle of the night. Sometimes that intelligence would find its way to my cantery. Then you're a fool. That man reports to Kaisar on what I do here. The Legion isn't going to take me back. My only hope is to escape and disappear. But if I escape and he reports it, they'll hunt me down as long as I live. It served me to report him as much as it served you. I hope the Legion burns your wretched body at the stake when they conquer this place. Nothing I could tell you would do anything to stop that. Get away from me. You did well. I don't know how you did it without putting a scratch on him, and I'm a little disappointed personally, but it saved the NCR some face. And it could save us more than that when all is said and done. I'm gonna talk to some people when we're through here. This is about double the standard fee we'd give a consultant, but from what I saw, you're more of an artist. So think of this as your commission. the kind of thing no good the more guns you can recover the more I'll be able to use to shoot Contreras for being inept well the
You got something to say, or do you want? Did the Colonel send you? I... I was hoping he might have changed his mind. I know. I've been crying. Stupid. I'm supposed to be a soldier. My husband. He's a ranger, and he... He got murdered by a pack of fiends. Goddamn savages laid his body out to rot. Brass won't say it to me straight, but they mean to leave Esteban out there. I can see that plain. Colonel says he can't spare the men to bring Esteban back home. And the fiends, they put all kinds of mines and traps around his body. Snipers, too. Mister, I'd about given up hope. But you've got to be careful. I don't want anybody else dying on my account. Esteban's body is laid out between some of the buildings, east of the Repcon headquarters. At least that's what his squad mates said. There's an NCR position just north of there. It's on the way. They should be able to tell you what the situation is. Listen, asshole, I know you're not really an NCR health inspector, so you can cut the restaurant critique routine. And I want my 50 caps back. Because I looked it up, and there ain't no disease called colorectal implosion syndrome. So I paid you to look the other way for nothing. Wait, wait. You're not... Oh, wow. I'm sorry. You look just like... Never mind. Sorry. So what can I serve you up? That's nothing. You just look like the health inspector who stopped through for the yearly inspection a couple of weeks back. I was hoping I wouldn't have to wait another 11 months to see his crooked ass to get my caps back. Ah well. Anything I can get you? No shit. The stuff actually does all that, huh? I'll have to start testing this out immediately. This will really help keep the guys focused. Oh, just kidding. Haven't you heard? Well, we haven't had any quality meat in months. Everyone in the camp just eating beans for protein. It isn't pretty. Some of my kitchen machinery is broken down too, so we've been eating mostly raw vegetables. And I'm desperate for spices or seasonings. Anything, just something for the general mood around here. It doesn't need to all come from the same source. There are a bunch of different vendors around who sell meat. Fitz, the Nashes, Crimson Caravan. We've never really tried to go out and organize deals with merchants to supply our food. Already having an overstock of food, we haven't needed to. But we really need some good old red meat on the menu soon. So I'm willing to divert some caps in their direction if they're open to supply us. Here's the list. We've been scrapping together quick fixes to keep it running for months. I think it finally crapped out and needs a full overhaul. It's the goofy machine behind the counter in the corner next to the stove. I'd be much obliged if you could take a look at it and get it fixed up. I don't know. Try the various traders around the waist. Or the pawn shop on west side might have some parts. Oh, I've heard of a place called House Tools you could check out. It's an old factory on the north side of Vegas. Just a word of warning, though. I hear no one who goes in there comes back out. Could be traps, crazy robots, or who knows what's in that place. The Crimson Caravan...
Nelson's back in our hands, but we can defend it this time. You look like someone in need of a reliable supplier. Take your pick. Got something good for me? Is it a dress? So you're back. Thanks. Are you implying I have some kind of secret under the table stash I only offer to certain clients? Because that could get a man in trouble. Now you're talking my language. I do have an expanded inventory for people I can trust. If you're willing to do a little legwork for me, I could give you access to my stash and at a discount. Many of these items aren't available in the NCR, and you'll be hard pressed to find them at a better price anywhere else. Well, I can't exactly go wandering off the base whenever I want, you know. They're already suspicious. I can hear the MPs now. Gee, Contreras, I didn't know you had so many friends in the Gunrunners. Speaking of which, guess your first stop. You're just passing a little note to a man named Isaac for me. I want to know which girl he likes. Great, let me know what he says. They're almost a straight shot north from here, up past the sharecroppers. You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Got something good for me? Is it a dress? So you're back. Give me a shout.
So you're back. Welcome, sir, or... Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. You're back. That may be the worst kept secret on the base. I'd be more surprised if you had proof he wasn't involved in criminal activity. But if you have proof, you're the envy of every MP stationed here. What'd you find? I 
little bastard. I'm sure some of those find their way into the hands of our enemies, too. All right, thanks for telling me. I'm gonna have him rounded up. Pretty impressive work there. Wish I could keep you around. But for helping me nail this guy, I think you should have a little keepsake. Here. It's not contraband, but I confiscated it from Contreras last week, because he was being smarmy and I was sick of his bullshit. more troops here than we thought. No wonder we couldn't hold Helios 1. Hey, you got a second? The Brotherhood is failing. I've always known that. If we don't change course, we're going to fall apart or fade away. But until recently, I haven't understood where we went wrong or how to fix it. I think I need to go home. Thanks, thank you. I'll encourage people to name their non-ugly children after you. Seriously.
Oh my god, are you okay? You've got to get to a medic. Doc Kemp can patch you up back at base. How could you sacrifice your body like that? You never even met him. If the NCR doesn't have a medal for this, they should make one up. There must be some kind of code of honor you hold yourself to. You're like a man possessed. We'll make sure Ranger Morales' body gets sent back home. You don't have to, you know, pick him up on your shoulder and haul him to California. Even though I believe you would if you had to. You should go tell Private Morales the news. I know she'll be relieved. Did you start looking for Esteban? I guess my directions could have been better. They put him in a box? With a flag and all? I hope so. He'd have been proud. You're too good for this rotten town. First kind thing anybody ever did for me in Esteban. You ever need anything, all you need to do is ask. Thank you so much. Feels better knowing that Esteban's not out there in the waste, but he's still gone, you know? <laughs> 